All right, cool. We're, we are live and starting to record. Well, everyone, it's time for our second Ander and Epicurus team up at Repsion Beatdown. This time, Mr. Repsion tackles the philosophical discipline of morality. I mean, sure, he's just some um, internet YouTube user, and sure, it's a discipline uh, taken seriously throughout years and ages by various people of, of great intellects, but yeah, I'm sure Mr. Repsion deserves to be in that level. Definitely. So we'll check him out and see what uh, great response he does to the naive Christian who just says atheists, can atheists be moral? Alright. Um, Andrew, you want to say anything? Aside from how god-awful this video is? Oh, no. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, cool. It's fucking Saturday, you moron. <laughs> All right, we're going to stop him there. Yeah, Sorry. um, I, just, just, just to parody Al Pacino, you can be moral. You can be moral. This whole goddamn courtroom can be moral. <laughs> I mean, okay. shit, this is very annoying. All right. Can be moral? Yes, 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 yes. It's building upon That's a lot of yeses. what he said on this young channel as it relates to morality, specifically how it relates to atheism, and more specifically how it relates to materialism. No. No, you fucking moron. All That's right. No, <laughs> okay. Um, just to sort things out for anyone listening, materialism is an ontology. It's where you believe that everything is composed of um some in irreducible irreducible atom or something. Uh, in its current form, it's basically everything in the universe is matter and energy, and everything emerging from that has some form of extension. That that's the you could after that you could take on a position where um, you can be someone who's a realist about morality, also, eh, also among various other things. So nihilism does not so materialism does not necessarily entail nihilism. This is the hugest bullet you could have bought, and you bought it already. I mean, not bought, uh, bit into. Uh, yeah. So already screw up. Yeah. I don't have any idea where he got that. Now, that's exactly what I was going to say. Uh, the definition of materialism that I like to use is just the one uh, that Descartes used, the definition of matter that he had, which was that it's that which has spatial extension. And, of course, that that's not nihilism at all. So, he, yeah, he's just an idiot. So, all right. He doesn't say that, but that's what he's talking about. Okay, yeah, he doesn't say that because that's not what he's talking about. I'm not he, sure yeah. if you're aware of this, but nihilism is a very very small minority of atheists and people alike. Wait, 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 stop. Wait, stop it right there. First of all, he says, first he says that nihilism is basically coming from materialism, and now he's saying, oh yeah, but that's just a total minority of people. Like, what the hell? Well, I mean, he doesn't know what the words mean, so I can't critique him there. I don't know what he, when he's saying nihilism, I don't know if he's talking about materialism or actual nihilism at this point. Because I think he, think he moves to, to actually talking about nihilism later. The rejection of all principles uh, pertaining to religion and just normal moral principles and believes if you're a nihilist that... So, uh, yeah, he thought that materialism meant moral nihilism. That's what he thought, which is a huge, stupid misconception. Exactly. If you want to say that um, materialism entails nihilism, you're going to need to come up with some kind of argument for it, like the Christian tries to do. And I, yeah, that that's not uh, outrageous at all. But uh, he's, I mean, he ba he is a materialist, though, isn't he? Uh, I I would think so. If if he knew what the word meant, he would probably agree with it. I'd assume. So yeah. to say for him to say that it entails nihilism is a big concession that he doesn't want to make. When he said this was around you is absolutely meaningless. I do not adhere to this type of uh, philosophy. I am not a nihilist and I know I don't know any nihilists personally who think this way. 
Nihilism wait, wait. is not me. Wait, does he think that nihilism is materialism? Because now I'm getting all kinds of mixed signals. Is he? Does he not believe he's a material being? I think. I think he just has thought that the definition of materialism is the same as the definition of moral nihilism, and has just went with that this the whole time. I don't think he has any idea what materialism means. Yeah, that's probably it. And very few, again, a very, very, very small minority of atheists actually believe in nihilism. That is this. If we are merely material, or if you believe that we are merely material, then that simply means that we are robots bound by the properties of matter. We are programmed by our DNA and continually reprogrammed by our environment. So we are victims of this programming. So, uh, this is about how the first six minutes of the video is going to go. The guy makes the argument that uh, materialism entails determinism, and if determinism is true, we don't have morality or responsibility. And, yeah, for the first six minutes or so, it just goes back and forth on this, and Repsion's answer is just, he just rejects it. He just and presupposes free will and says that... Uh, it doesn't matter. It's just wrong anyway. Maybe, <laughs> I mean, maybe we should direct him to some of your videos. It's it's really annoying because like the guy's making just a a common argument, you know, that uh, materialism entails determinism. Christians make that argument all the time, yeah, and Repsion just says no. It is uh, no. It doesn't. Just that's his response. He just we'll, we'll watch him do this repeatedly for. The next six, five or six minutes, he'll just repeatedly just deny this but without arf offering a single argument. Yeah. In a very, very small degree, uh, uh, excuse me, you are correct that we are programmed. The difference is that you're not understanding is that I choose to ignore my programming all of the time. Wait, stop it. What? I don't know what he means by that, but I mean... He's just yeah, presupposing free will, I think, is what he's trying to do. Uh, to me, it sounds like, yeah, sure, we're programmed, but I don't... Sure, we're programmed, but I could overturn my programming at any time. I, I'm not sure how, how that's supposed to happen. I mean... Eh. Yeah, well, he doesn't know. offer any argument as to how... See, traditionally, you would think that in order to do that, you'd have to break the laws of physics, right? If materialism is true, everything is physically determined, mm -hmm. in order to break... In order to go against that in any way, you'd have to do something that defies physical law. Mm -hmm. And it would require an explanation as to how you're able to do that. But he just assumes that it's the case that he can do that and that it's just completely uncontroversial. And it's really annoying. Yeah. Evolutionary speaking, we were designed to procreate, have sex, survive, and eat. This here is a piece of succulent bacon, one of my favorite meats. Pork. Vegan, shut the fuck up. This does not concern you. I love this bacon. And right now, although I'm hungry, I have not eaten breakfast, because this video is the first thing I'm not filming this morning, I am not going to eat this piece of bacon. But he does eat the bacon, and this is really stupid. What is this example for? What is the point uh, of this example? Uh, also, one could easily say... One could easily say that he was programmed not to eat the bacon. Seriously, why could it not be the case that he was determined to not eat the bacon until the point in the video where he does eat the bacon? Right. I mean, uh, it's that really annoying. Sense. Yeah. Sometimes people try to uh, prove free will with the argument that, uh, look, I'm doing stuff right now. So <laughs> what? I mean, you could just as easily have been determined to do that exact series of things. So, yeah, he has no clue what he's talking about. Let's let him continue. D despite my impulse, despite the smell, despite knowing that this has meat in it and it has certain... Okay, he was right about that. There is meat. <laughs> well, Mr. Upton's right about something. Okay, at 2.43 he says there's... Well, I'll just play that part back, actually. It has meat in it and it has certain chemicals or toxins or I don't even... Why would toxins compel you to eat something? Uh, like, he's well, talking about having an impulse to eat something. If there's toxins in something, that's not going to make you, like, want to eat anything. Yeah. I'm still trying to get over the fact that he's telling his vegan audience to shut up. I mean, what? 
that me. Uh. I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. All right, there, there. That's the most accurate thing he will ever say. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Epstein. All right. That I crave in this piece of meat. This can be applied for any type of food, too. That I am craving this right now, but I'm putting it down on my desk, and I'm not going to eat this piece of bacon. Because right now, I just chose not to go along with my programming. So you seem to think that we're robots and that we're all pre-programmed to do certain things and act a certain way, when in reality, that's not true at all. When we're pre-programmed, we have the ability to choose. And See, how is that not just presupposing free will and saying that it doesn't matter if materialism is true, determinism somehow isn't true? Like, he's not really making an argument. He's just saying it's not It's not the case. I don't see the argument there, though. He's begging the question so much, I think he'd be willing to suck a dick for it. Seriously, I mean, these examples are just so pointless. Uh, I, I mean, no offense, but uh, I have friends who are libertarians on free will, but... Uh, and you've probably seen some bad free will arguments yourself, but this has got to be the worst video ever to defend libertarian free will I have ever seen. I don't want to say libertarian free will because I know that he doesn't know what any of these words mean, so I'm just saying free will. Um, yeah, I, I, I know. I think that's generally the common understanding everybody has on free yeah, will. That you can do otherwise, you know, that's the strongest, the, the strong libertarianism. Yeah. Anyway, um... I, yeah, I would assume that's what he's talking about, since he's talking about, you know, defying his programming, that I guess he means he's doing other than what he's determined, would be determined to do, but uh, just doing stuff and saying I wasn't determined to do that isn't an argument. That's just saying contra saying the contrary to what determinism says. It's just, he's just begging the question the whole time. It's really annoying. Right now, despite me just... I don't know how many times I've said that, but I may say that at least a hundred or so more times. This is an extremely annoying video. Give you an example of me not eating this bacon. I need to eat this bacon. And there so he goes. Determinism is great. Determinism is fucking true. Good going, Mr. Epstein. You ruined it for everyone. It's oh my god. Oh, maybe he. I think he was probably just doing it for comedic value. Although I, I don't know why this is comedical. It, I didn't laugh at all during this video. Uh, it, it made me angry, and I had to stop watching it several times because of just, you know, I can only t take so much of this. But, yeah, so he's he's not going to eat the bacon because determinism is false, and then he does eat the bacon, and determinism is still false. It just seems like no matter what he does, determinism is false. Oh, <laughs> well... Uh, here's, uh, when he said this was Space Palm Saturday, um, did, did he mean his own video? That's what, that's what I got out of it, at least. That's what I thought he was talking about. I, I mean, I've, I really believe if everybody in this audience was uh, someone who could think properly, they would thumb this video down, go back to that nice Christian uh, video, and Maybe if not, uh, rem if not thumb up his video, at least remove their thumbs down because at least he was trying to be coherent. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Until, in fact, the beginning of this video is him just offering a normal argument that you hear all the time. It's not until later in his video that he just gets all preachy and just starts saying bullshit. Um, but yeah, at the beginning of his whole the the Christian guy's video, you know, materialism entails determinism. A lot of people argue that. Uh, the only counter argument usually offered against that is, you know, something to do with quantum mechanics, or uh, or Frankfurt um, counter examples, or um, but that's just for compa uh, for a compatibilistic approach, or something along, or even something along the lines of substance dualism, or. Um, well, no, I'm saying that that would be that would deny materialism, though. Oh yeah, that's true. Um. All right, so we he hasn't pulled the gun out yet. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. I chose to eat that. Fuck you. You chose to presuppose free will. You fucking asshole. I'm already mad. It's terrible. Oh, this would be fun. this would be so much more funny if he was serious. <laughs> If he, uh, I, I can't believe he's. I, I think he's a pawn now. I honestly do. No one, no one, 
no one can be this stupid. He has a one worse video than this that I want to do maybe some other weekend. Um, oh, yeah. It's worse than this one, but he he says somewhere in there that he doesn't understand, or he says, I suck at philosophy. And that kind of excuses him a little bit, I guess. Yeah, okay, at least we can respect his honesty. Yeah. I want you to pay attention very carefully. I just demonstrated the difference between me really wanting this and putting it down and picking it back up and then eating it between choice, choices, and impulses. You have to understand that choices and impulses are completely two different things, and depending on the type of person you are, you are, we can act differently, and we can choose to either accept that impulse. See, we can make choices. We, we have free will. That's all he's saying. He's just doing it again. It's really, it's just, how can he think like this? Uh, also, also, I don't see the distinction between impulses and choices. One can easily just say, well, your quote-unquote choice is just a prolonged impulse. Yeah, I mean... It's bad. Whether that be eating bacon or meat, or not accept that impulse and become a vegan, for example, if you won't want to eat that type of stuff. Furthermore, I would ask you to explain how people who are brought up in certain environments, for example, myself. Nah, fuck this. I'm skipping. I'm skipping past this. This is really. Oh, come on. It's too much. Of, too repetitive. For, I haven't. I mean, I watched it this morning. I remember very well that the first six minutes was just that bullshit. Uh, was he going to be, he was giving his example right there of uh, well how come if I was raised in such an environment why this why such and such an event uh, didn't deterministically happen uh, something like that yeah hey. that was he was making that argument like he was raised uh, by Christ, by in a Christian family why isn't he a Christian right now like there's so many other variables that go into that than just what family you're raised in, what you're going to be, you know, 20 years later. This exactly. It's not yeah. even close to an argument against determinism. Nope. All right, let's keep it going. I'll start with the Christian guy over here. We're not responsible for anything we do. I don't even know how you got to this conclusion. Fuck you, God damn it! Really? So, yeah, the argument is. Uh, if materialism is true, determinism is true. If determinism is true, we don't have ultimate responsibility. This is a classic argument that so many people use, and Repsion is just somehow just baffled by it. It's like he's never heard this before and can't make sense of it. No, do you know what's really stupid? He, in one video, he bragged about how his parents sent him to a Christian camp where William Lane Craig was giving these same arguments. Well, one would think that if he's been around these arguments so many times, it would have been drilled into his fucking head. But <laughs> yeah, I don't watch his other videos. I've I'm gonna yeah. try, I'm try not uh, to do that. But all right, let's see. We're not responsible for anything that we do. Yes, we fucking are. See, he does it again. It's that's why I want to skip this part. He's gonna keep the, the Christian guy's gonna make his point, and then. Repsion's going to respond by denying his point. Like, that's it. That's all he does is just says, you're wrong. Okay? When, when he sees ponage videos, is, is that all he imagines? Oh, as long <laughs> as someone asserts that the other guy is wrong, and I like his position, that's who definitely deserves to win. All right, I'm um, going to go just to him pulling out the pistol <laughs> to make... I still don't know why the fuck he pulls out his pistol, but, yeah, we'll... <laughs> Neither is this, my firearm. This is either right or wrong. Yes, dipshit, it's because it's not in the category to be right or wrong. His, yeah, his gun is neither right nor wrong. Good point. Yes, th that's exactly the point the Christian is trying to make. Because his brain is a material thing, it's neither right or wrong. No different than the gun. Yeah, that you. If you look closely, you can actually see in the video the argument going over his head. <laughs> Choose to kill someone with this weapon. In the same way, our chemicals. We can choose to use those chemicals in a negative or a positive way. I can use a gun to kill someone if I want to. Oh wait, wait. There is no negative or positive way if there is no morality. You're begging the question. Seriously, and and the idea that he can choose how his chemicals work. I mean, you'd think that chemicals 
being physical objects are determined by physical laws like everything else, how how do you ha have control over that? Like, it, God damn it. Type of reasoning. Chemicals are not right nor wrong, but you and me can in fact control our feelings. Uh, I'm done with this. I'm not going to let him say that again. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where does he stop presupposing stuff? Nowhere. With your view of yourself and the world around us, the best thing you can say about Hitler or the man that just beheaded a journalist is, that's different. I wouldn't do that. No, 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 and no. Are you seriously telling me that I can't seem to understand why these atrocities were committed in the first place? No. That's not at all what he said. Not at all. He's, he's saying that... There is no difference in terms of what they're doing and you're doing on a moral sense because you can't have morality with determinism and materialism. Obvious. Now, I'm guessing that Repsion's response here is going to be, yes, you can. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember that fallacy where you can't understand things and you think that's an excuse to ignore someone's reasoning. <laughs> See, he doesn't think that... He thinks he understands it perfectly well, which is really weird because he clearly doesn't. Um, but he thinks an assertion of the opposite is constitutes a, just a perfect argument, and he thinks he can just employ that to everything. Oh, man, I should start doing my videos like that. I would so pwn everybody. But you have On no basis, basis for doing so. That's the argument. You do not have a, an objective basis for condemning that, and and you need to come up with a, an argument as to how you're able to do that instead of just fucking saying you can. God I, damn it. I, I, I really just wonder if he's ever watched any other atheist YouTuber who's somewhat decent at making these points or pretty good at making these points. I mean, I could think of, like, five off the top of my head. I mean, yeah... See, the thing is, this is... Bionic Dance would respond to this by just, you know, biting the bullet with moralities as subjective as you can possibly imagine and just go ahead and concede that, which is a lot better than what he's doing where he's denying it but not explaining any reason why. Yeah. I mean, I don't agree with the how theoretical bullshit... Uh, uh, smart guy, anyway, who, who pushes forward his point, but he makes good damn points. And it takes a while to just reason. It takes a while to respond to them, and you know it's very thoughtful. This is, this you just know he woke up one morning and turned on his camera. Yeah, that's that's it. I mean, <laughs> had he tried to construct an argument, it would have been preposterous and insanely horrible. But it would, it would add to the comedy value of the video. It would give us something to critique, you know, I wouldn't have to skip through the entire thing. He'd be a little bit more respectable, maybe, had he done that. Mm -hmm. I condemn the actions of Hitler. This reporter who got his head chopped off, I condemn that, but at the same time, I understand why his head was chopped off. I don't know where he's getting this. The guy is not saying that you don't know why that happened. That's not part of the argument at all. Yeah. He's going to be stuck on this, but yeah, it's, he, just, it, he missed the point. Islam is a scary fucking religion. Moral judgments are out. Um, completely out. You and I are just robots. Uh, we don't judge hydrochloric acid for being corrosive. Okay, so that's mainly what I've said um, so far on this channel. Now, that does not mean that an atheist materialist cannot help Aunt Betty across the street or give to a person who has a need or, as Jacqueline Blanton just did, have ice water dumped all over you to benefit a cause. Um, so all that I've said so far does not mean that 
Uh, that's where I think the Christian Dudes video gets uh, questionable and pretty bad. Yeah, one could easily just say, uh, okay, but why is this law any more... Um, why is this law any more... Uh, just uh, why does this law justify morality any more than any other impulse we have? How is that not arbitrary? And of course, how do you know that's the case? I mean, both of those need to be answered. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he answers those. So yeah, his video is pretty horrible too. But at least I know what the hell he's trying to say though. And, and as a point, uh, I think that just comes from the fact that most Christians presume you have God morality. And no, no. Uh, no, a lot of there are a lot of Christians I know who don't really know about something like the youth pro dilemma or you know basic arguments against divine command theory. However, if you do go to a divine command theorist who is well educated in this stuff, you can find good justifications. Wrote the law on our hearts, so he essentially wrote the law. Worship me. That is the standard. It's an absolute moral standard. It's objective. It applies to everyone, no matter what they think. You can believe in objective morality as much as you want, but unless you can substantiate an understanding as to why you think we have objective morality... Oh, 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 oh pause this! What the... Oh, my God. Okay, um, there's a very funny story I've heard where the pot and the kettle commit mutual suicide in a hotel room. <laughs> this is the story that probably induced it. Um, so the guy tried to offer God as his explanation for objective morality. I don't know if Repsion was objectively condemning anything earlier before if he meant that he just subjectively condemns things. So I, I don't really don't, don't know if he's contradicting himself here. Uh... But given that that's the stupidest thing he could do, I'm going to assume that's what he's doing. God wrote it in our hearts. You have absolutely no argument to even argue for objective morality. Does oh. Repsion have an argument for any position? No. Well, he could just assert things, of course. <laughs> it's okay when he does it. It doesn't exist. I don't believe it exists. Subjective morality is based upon our environment and the culture and, and how we are grow grow up in the different environments that we live in. In certain other places around the world, it is immoral to do certain things that would be normally considered normal here. In other places around the world, completely moral things, such as cannibalism, I'm just using that as an example, would be immoral over here. Okay, so there is no objective basis for morality. Congratulations, you've completely conceded his point. Yeah, he conceded relativism, uh, cultural relativism. Uh, at least that's some kind of basis for morality. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, that means cannibalism is okay depending on where you are. And <laughs> oh, exactly. We have no reason to condemn it. Uh, uh, it's not the most tenable position, granted. Um, uh, just keep playing. Um, so that's, that's pretty much the rest of what I've said. But um, going back to those ads... People look at those acts of kindness, and they say, those are good, and they're good. Now, what really matters, however, is what God thinks of those actions. If it really only matters what God thinks... Um, nope. Not going to do this part. This is them talking past each other. Yeah. What I was thinking, and I was thinking... Um, another man's cock. God knows all my perverted thoughts. Uh, well, I don't know why these segments are in the video, like what points he's making. Uh, I, is he trying to draw that whole, well, if God knows my thoughts, he's just as responsible for them? Kind of no, I think he's trying, he's like competing to see, like, there's maybe there's like a world record for how immature and just overall obnoxious a person can be. So he's just trying to break his old record. All right. Yeah, I mean, of course, he's already set the record. <laughs> no question there. Um, I'm trying to. I have like times written down, timestamps written down from where I thought that something happened. But like next to the timestamp, I just say like one word, one word summary of what happens there, and 
at least seven of them are just retarded. <laughs> so, so I really don't <laughs> I really don't know any of the content of what's going to happen here when I skip. But uh, it's it's right every time though so far. All right. Um. See, I don't like this part at all because he's he's not even trying to argue with him. He's just trying to make stupid jokes, and they're really bad. They're not funny at all. Yeah. See, that's crazy. Well, if God is infinite, right? Then it, technically, every point inside your brain, God fills it with all His fullness. Uh, like I said, the Christian guy towards the later part of his video does become really stupid and starts just preaching stuff that doesn't mean anything. Uh, yeah, I think Spike like, Fullness the most charitably I, I think Spike like, the most charitably I can give him is we we have all kind of we have a mental awareness of God's glory. Uh, something along these lines. If he wanted, uh, see, but everyone is gonna. He has no real reason for saying that, though. Like, I mean, I have no experience of that, so I can just say that... I, yeah, I mean, at, least it makes, at least it makes more sense than saying God fills us with his fullness. <laughs> oh, yeah. It definitely makes more sense than the way he worded it. But uh, I know what he meant, though, and what he meant is kind of... reminds me of something Saiten Bruggenkate would say, where you know about objective morality and the moral laws because God somehow built it into you, and that's just, that's a bad assertion. Agreed. It can just be easily rejected. Um, so yeah, later in his video, he gets pretty bad, too. What the fuck does that even mean? Every point in your brain, God fills with his fullness? Like his semen? Or Why would it be that, exactly? Oh, because semen is gross, and and edgy, and of course Mr. Upson is known for being edgy. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> his, his jokes are really terrible. It's like that, he reminds me of, he reminds me of that kid who watched South Park, and then uh, tried to be hilarious, but completely failed in doing it the way South Park did. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, but you're right. Struggles that got him still out? What is his fullness, that just sounds creepy, man. When you're infinite, that's just the way it is. When you're infinite, that's just the way it is. Um, okay. Nature is not infinite. God is. So he sees everything. See, I don't think this guy wanted atheists to watch his video because he does... He says a lot of stuff that's just too preachy, and it's too obvious that he has. It requires God to already exist beforehand, you know. No, wait, wait, wait. He actually, I believe he actually did say um, that he tagged Rep John and Jacqueline Gunn in this one. Oh, okay. Hmm. What the fuck are you talking? How did that? Where did that come from? What did he say? He said something about his pubic hairs. Uh, he hasn't gone through puberty yet. Like, <laughs> every time the Christian guy tries to make his fucking point, he looks really sad while doing so. <laughs> and Repsion comes in and just... It just says bullshit. Low region? He even knows about my genital warts? Jesus Christ. No, oh, no, that would, he's lying now. Because General Award would not play he had sex. Matters of what God thinks, what matters is what God thinks. Okay, then now you have to establish that... How do I say this? Now I have to establish... <laughs> <laughs> See, I wish he'd come up with this ship before turning the fucking camera on. Me too. Wouldn't his answer to this be really easy? I mean, the Christian guy could just say, oh, those other gods, they're all fake. That's oh, how, Yeah, really. That's how I deal with that. You don't have to worry about what other gods say because they're not real. It's pretty simple. Why is what your god thinks would be immoral or wrong to those other people with those exact different 
types of deities. Exact different types of deities. Yeah, just like um, those visible, invisible deities. Yeah, what the fuck? I mean, he should have thought about this. Clearly, Christians don't think those other gods are real. Or they're just demon influence, one or the other. Yeah, so there's no reason why they would think, oh, they have equal grounds to make claims about what's right and wrong. No, I mean, god damn it. How can I discern what the Hindu god? They're all fake, you idiot. No one cares. Oh, no, no, the other gods don't even have to be fake. I mean, in theory, someone could just say, oh, well, um, that's just how those particular religions understand God, but we have the proper understanding. You don't even, that or too. you could say that all religions are a way to understanding God. You could take these very liberal namby pamby ways of going about this as well. <laughs> I, all these answers will do. Your God is the one that I should care about what he thinks. What God is going to do is look at the intentions of your heart, the purposes within your heart that performed that action, and take those purposes and match them up to his purpose for you being here. Did the purposes in your heart match up with your purpose for being on this planet? This guy's a super deontologist, isn't he? <laughs> a what? It's not a real position, but he, he's talking about deontology where, you know, oh. the you're, you, uh, it's not just about the consequences you have to be it's, following. Yeah, it's, it's, you oh, have to be doing about. it for the right reasons and stuff, but... Oh, okay, I can... Then it's not a good deed. Okay? And let me explain that. God has given us a law, as I've said. Love God, love neighbor as self. But ultimately, the ultimate end for which we were created is to glorify God. Question for you, as you can tell, I'm asking you a lot of questions because I want to see actual Christian people to answer these substantially. Um, without these, God said it, this is how it is. We're 14 minutes in, he hasn't answered a goddamn question about anything. Why does someone else have to answer his questions? Exactly. Or or the Christian could just assert things and it'll be just as valid on this production. <laughs> oh, logic. Seriously, uh... It would have been a lot better for us to have just, every time he says something, we just say that he's wrong. <laughs> rather explain it. Why were we created to glorify God? If God was so powerful and almighty to begin with, with omnipotence, omnibenevolence, and all these different qualities and attributes, why would he need us to be able to stroke his ego? I don't understand that. There's no reason for God to even create us to begin with when he had everything he ever possibly need or want, and he had all the power in the world. Maybe he was determined to create us. That could work. Um, he didn't really have a lot of stuff before he created us. And yep. before he created anything, you know? Oh, so Christians would just say that, oh, it's a work of mercy. Humans do nothing for uh, to deserve any merit in being created, but God is uh, so merciful, he, he creates us out of his nature. Something along these lines. Like, um, I don't think it even... I mean... It, I'd be okay with the Christian just saying, like, I don't know, like, to that. Oh, mystery. That'd work. Why should we humans glorify something when it already is all-powerful and doesn't need any more glorification than it already is because he's so almighty? It already is all-powerful and doesn't need any more glorification than it already is. Science. Science. <laughs> <laughs> no need to answer that one. I mean... You're a Christian, and I hate stupid atheists, but, and so, so these questions are in a way, you know, for us to answer, and I'm not going to answer any of them, because yeah. uh, he didn't answer any questions, and his questions aren't phrased, they're not worded properly. Uh, I've, I've heard these kinds of critiques before, but much, much better, uh, and they made sense. Yeah. <laughs> Why does he need our glorification? That makes no sense. To love him, to, to enjoy him, um, to, to serve him, um, to experience life with him, to glorify him as supreme, and get great joy from it. Now you might think that's egocentric, but I'm going to upload another video to say why for God that's not egocentric, that it's actually love. Well, Christians need to stop making uh, videos like that. 
because they're just asking the, they're making these retarded people popular when Christians make videos like that where they preach and stuff and and don't back things up well that that is actually the best argument against Christian video making I have ever seen uh, because yeah, it, makes, Chris, yeah, it because allows these people to make their bullshit um, yeah Repsion should not have a video to respond to it, although he does extremely badly even in this one um, and he gets paid for it too yeah that's horrible <laughs> Also, we didn't we didn't mention this uh, at all. We completely skipped over it, but uh, he shows his gun in his videos occasionally. He obviously should not have a gun. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this man should not even own a pet, even if it's like a hamster. <laughs> when you make that video, you can be sure that I will be watching that video. And when I watch that, depending on what you see, because I have yet. I think he meant what you say. To see a Christian establish a really good reason as why we should. Well, wait a minute. Here's something I'm kind of. Here's something I'm questioning. If he already saw this guy's video and knows, for example, that he said he would just tackle it in a different video, why would he even raise these questions up in the first place? Um, that's a really good point. Uh, see, that's the one thing about the other guy's video that's somewhat redeemable. He says like, I'm, the, the explanation is not finished here. I'm gonna carry on later. Uh, you know, Repsion doesn't even realize when he hasn't explained something. Mm. Love or whatever. I will respond to it. Forgot to do that. But that's his purpose is for us. Our ultimate end is to glorify God. Hence in 1 Corinthians 10, it says, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. That includes helping in Betty across the street. We have a subordinate end uh, to serve our fellow man, but our ultimate end is to do it to the glory of God. Tell me why? Why, why, why should we do this? <laughs> oh, I can't understand people like yourself who just randomly spew things on why we, on, on things for we need to do this, but you don't have to offer any reasons as to why we should be doing it. He said he, wait, wait. he said he would tackle this in a different video. What the hell are you piling on? Yeah, I know. I mean, he's already played that part, too. So, it's like, everyone can see that he's already said he's not going to go into more, more detail on this, but... Uh... So, yeah, I have, like, two st time stamps left on here. It says preaching bullshit on one of them, and then at 18:32 something happens. But the video is pretty much done at this point. Uh -huh. I'm gonna keep playing it anyway, though. You do a moral act, and we refer to that as like, like I say, Jack and Blood having water dumped on the burger with the ice cream. When you don't do it to the ultimate end for which you are created, it's absolutely in vain. And so what Christians are to be doing is going about um, helping people in need, doing these acts of kindness and love towards others, and doing it to the end that God would be glorified. And in, in my case, it would be simply to go out and help people and say, I'm doing this, my friend, in the name of Christ. So what you're saying here is that Christians doing these acts are not actually doing them because they love the people, because they want to be kind, but they're doing it for an eternal reward, which is heaven, and to glorify this God. When the fuck did he say that? Yeah, he didn't. He didn't say the uh, the thing about the doing it for reward. He uh, kind of just he, added that uh, in there. All he said was, yeah, there there are secondary moral uh, there are secondary moral acts we can do, which are very important in and of themselves, but they are only considered moral because there's an ultimate end in glorifying God, like. See the argument. The argument he's making is is against doing things for the purpose of reward. That's the whole argument that he's trying to make. If you're doing something just uh, for whatever positive benefit it will get you, then that's not moral. Uh, so their intentions for, for behind these acts are not even fucking genuine to begin with. Is that what you're? That's pretty much what you're saying. Because if you do good deeds, you get to heaven. That is a pile of bullshit. He didn't say that, though. <sighs> I don't help people or make videos on depression to, to get recognition. 
depression or depression. He doesn't help. Videos give me depression. He doesn't help people, and what does he do? Videos on depression or something? Yeah, he does. Okay, um, those those cause depression. <laughs> exactly. So, so yeah, I want to just end it here because uh, it's not fun watching uh, Mr. Epstein take on a straw man. Yeah, Although, this... funny enough, I believe um, if he were to take on a straw man, there's a good chance fifty percent of the time he would lose. Definitely. Um, yeah, that video, there was no content to, to hit what he was saying at all. He, he did two things. He presupposed free will, and then he presupposed some kind of morality. I don't know if it was, if he was arguing for subjective or objective morality in there. Uh, yeah, I think it was a subjective morality. Um, um, he said that, but I don't know if he knows what that means, so... I always have to assume that whenever he says what his position is, the words that he uses to describe it, given that he doesn't know what those mean, uh, that he could be wrong about that very severely. Yeah. Or maybe he'll be determined to be wrong about that. <laughs> so, yeah, that one kind of made me uh, pissed off a little bit. Uh, we'll pick a maybe a better one next time, one where he says more things that, that aren't just, you know contradicting the other person's argument. It reminds me of that Mon Monty Python thing. Have you ever seen that? There's this uh, really great uh, segment on Mar Monty Python where uh, a guy goes into like a clinic to have an argument with somebody. Never saw that one. It's, it's wonderful. He goes in to have an argument with somebody, and the guy that he argues with just uh, denies whatever he says. He just says, no, it isn't, to every thing, single thing the other guy says. And that's what uh, Repsion did here. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it now. All right, and that is...